Hey, I'm your host Shane with Radical Rocks. Today we're gonna try stretching a ring. I um, I usually wear a turquoise ring, but I've been having to wear gloves a lot out here in Idaho. Um, as you can see, there is uh, snow on the ground. Well, I'm not gonna turn the camera, but there's snow on the ground, and um, the turquoise is so big it gets caught up in my ring. So I got a, a cast ring from Rio Grande. I thought about making my own, but this one just looks more traditional which I like. Um, you know, I might make me my own wedding ring later, but for right now, I just went with this one. It was like, uh, I don't know, 40 something dollars. It's sterling silver, but they didn't have my size. Um, I wear, I don't know, either a nine and a half or a 10 and a half. We'll find out. And, um, so I had to, I went a size small so I could stretch it up that half a size. So we're going to go through a basic way to stretch a ring and, um, we ask that you guys support the channel. We're on uh, Parlor, we're on MeWe, uh, Facebook, of course YouTube, and we have a podcast and a blog at RadicalRocksUSA.blogspot.com. All right, some of the things you're going to want, um, the basic things that you're going to want is you might want a hammer that um, is not super hard. If you find you can't hit the uh, the ring stretcher good will show you that and these are kind of handy because they do actually unscrew and come off they're really tight right now but there's they're threaded in there they will come off um, maybe a ball peen hammer some kind of a hammer it's always good to have a ring sizer um, we have some links for our Amazon link on one of our blogs on making jewelry for these type of things if you want to look that up I'd, I'm not going to put it on this video most likely um, and then a ring stretcher um, you can get this from Johnson Brothers or Rio Grande or any one of those um, This is just a piece of wood with a hole in it right here, and I just left it in the plastic I know it's all beat to heck, but uh, you know, it doesn't bother me any and then your ring stretcher right here Okay um, Also, you're gonna want maybe a little silicone grease is a good idea or just an o-ring grease that you get at the hardware store in the plumbing section it's always good to put a little lubricant on this to uh, make it slide on and off. One other thing you might get, which I looked real quick, I couldn't find it, is a jewelry cloth. It's just a siliconized um, cloth for cleaning the jewelry, or you can use a Dremel with a polishing wheel and things like that um, if it gets uh, if it gets uh, scratched or tarnished at all. So let's get into the stretching. I'll put this on the ground, a hard surface, so we can um, uh, hit it hard. Okay, so here we are. We're on the concrete. Um, I took this out a little bit just so you could see what it is. It's basically just a little wood donut, um, hard wood. Um, you put that on the ground. Um, you have this ring stretcher here, and you have um, the other part of it right there. So you just merely put your ring on there. I like to uh, use a little silicone grease uh, on the inside just to make it move a little better and just put that grease on the inside there and then um, you push it down as far as you can on this okay and then um, pretty basic you just uh, put the ring anvil stretcher part right there and uh, don't you know miss and hit your ring if you're gonna if you're real bad aim, then uh, you might want to, uh, and it fits right in the hole right there, like that. So you'll only get to hit it down to the ground unless you raise it up higher. But uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that because then you, you stretch the, you saw how that went down. You'll stretch that. Also, I forgot to mention, <laughs> this piece, it doesn't hurt if you... Uh, you can also get it, if it gets stuck, you can hit it right here on this part, like this. Just be careful not to hit your ring. Okay, came out. I should have siliconed this. This kind of helps if you silicone this a little bit. Get a little bit of silicone grease on there, helps release it. I should have done that, but you know. It's all about the end result. So um, that probably was not a whole half size, but uh, what we can do is just check it. And you push these in like so and get that out. 
then we can check it, see where we're at. Um, okay, so it looks like it was a nine, and I'm almost up to a nine and a half, which is right about my size. I couldn't remember if it was a nine or a ten, but uh, yeah, it should just fit over the knuckle. That's still just a tiny bit tight, but I'm going to go a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay, now I could probably hammer that down a little bit more and get it to go even one more size. But let's get this buried in there. Okay, that is now buried in there. So that is probably going to be just about perfect for me. And I do believe I'm hitting the ground. So that's, you turn it upside down. Yeah, see, I've hit the ground right there. So the only way I can make it bigger at this point would be to go Okay, so it slipped out. There we go. The only way I'm going to get it to go any bigger is to push it down into this next size, which is going to be tight, but it can be done. You may have to get some something else to push it. It's kind of slippery right now. But let's see if I had a rag here. Here's a rag. What we'll do is try to squeeze these together. Now, one other thing you can do if you have a really hard time with this, you can get a hose clamp and put a hose clamp on the end to tighten this and um, maybe get it tight enough together that you can get it down to the next step. So we'll try that. So if you're having a hard time, um, you can get a hose clamp and either go on one side or the other, um, probably on the inside would be the best, of the ring, this, and then try to squeeze this down, which I'm having a hard time. So you could either, do it to get it off or to put it on the next step. So what we'll do, we'll tighten it up. Okay. And you can see now all those grooves, it comes right off. Or it slides down to the next one. See? So that works out pretty good. You can slide it down to the next one as well. Um, we'll show you how to do that. Okay, we'll just go down here a little bit further right here like so now it's coming off I'm getting those grooves to close right in here now it's a lot more likely to be able to go on to this next one okay now if worse comes to worse we can go back and stretch it a little bit more it looks like it's just not quite going on there. Let's see if we can get this a little tighter. Okay. Okay, it's almost there. So one thing you can do is you can take a piece of wood, but you want to be careful that you don't wrap the, you don't mess up your metal. And you can take a piece of wood and you can tap it down on to the next level. So there, I've got it started. If I were going to stretch this again, I would go ahead and hammer it on there really tight. You can see I've got it started, though. Um, I would take a flat piece of wood and, and tap this down to this next level. And then take the hose clamp off and stretch it again. But it's actually the right size for me. And uh, we're right on. Hopefully, if you have a ring, you're not going to stretch it too many sizes. Depending on what kind of ring you have is depending on how far you're going to want to stretch it. Um, a ring like this, we can stretch it quite a ways. We could probably stretch this ring three sizes or more without uh, disfiguring it um, too much. The other thing you can do, since this is silver, uh, to aid it in stretching, you would uh, get a fire brick and um, I, I get like a little piece of metal and uh, weight it on there and I get a torch and I get this just where it's a red, a dull red and then you drop it into water really quickly and then you stretch it 
um, and it helps it stretch more uh, evenly because with uh, silver, that's how you can soften the metal up is just heat it up to a dull red glow. Uh, if you look at my video on the coin ring, you can see how we do that with the coin, uh, coin rings. You just heat it up till it's cherry red, drop it in the water, and uh, it gives you a few stretches, and then you're good. So let's see. It's supposed to be a nine and a half. Should fit right over. There we go. Voila. Perfect. Done. It's easy as that, folks. Well, I'm your host, Shane, with Radical Rocks. Until next time, remember, rock hounds don't die. They petrify.